Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to use the ground plane target option of Euphoria Engine to create an augmented reality app. In our previous videos we talked about how to configure Unity Engine with the Euphoria Engine SDK. If you did not watch that video, you can check it out by clicking on the link in the description box below. Ground plane target can be used to aim at and detect a flat horizontal surface on top of which augmented reality objects can be placed. So let's see how we can do that now. You should come to the hierarchy panel, click the plus sign, go to the Euphoria engine options and click on plane finder under ground plane to create it as a game object. Afterwards, you should also add the ground plane stage option from the same place. You should then click on plane finder and go to the anchor stage option and drag and drop ground plane stage there. Afterwards, you should add the object that needs to be seen in augmented reality as a child object of the ground plane stage game object. I'm going to add a small car named race car as the 3D object here and add it as a child object of the ground plane stage game object. I am then going to rescale the car so that it is positioned properly on the ground plane stage. You should then go to the Content Positioning Behavior Script section under the Plane Finder where you will see a tick box next to Duplicate Stage. If you tick the tick box, you will be able to create as many copies of the car that we have added on the horizontal surface that you detect. When you tap on any place on the horizontal surface, you will be able to create a copy of the object on it. If you remove the tick, you will only be able to place one copy of the object on the horizontal surface. I have finished creating our scene and I will save it now. I will then go to File and then build it as an Android APK. When you come to the build settings, you can see that Android has been selected under the platform options. If you have not chosen Android, you should select the Android option from here and click switch platform. You should also go to player settings and change some of the settings here. The minimum API level should be changed to a more recent Android version like Android 8.0. Android 8.0 was released relatively recently, around 2019. This SDK will not work with older versions, so you should pick a relatively recent option. The target API level should be changed to automatic highest installed. The scripting backend should be changed to IL2 CPP and the target architecture should be ARM64. You should keep in mind that the APK that we are building will only work properly on an Android phone with Google AR Core. I will then build it like this. This is the APK that we have built. This is how it will be seen once it has been installed onto an Android phone. When we point our phone camera at the point and tap it like this, we are able to place the 3D object that we selected. This is the final output. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're so glad that you joined us on the Render Island channel today. We're always creating new content for Unity developers, so please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.